really dicey. And today we're going to talk about the Clone Wars. Now review of it, because that, that's a very different episode. <laughs> so season seven has uh, wrapped up. You know, Clone Wars is done. And um, we think there may be some fans that may want to play in this setting. Um, uh, it's, it's a very, to me, a very problematic setting. It's probably not easy for Game Master to do, at least for myself especially. Uh, it, it's, it's, it's hard because my feelings for the movies, the prequels, and, uh, and the Clone Wars, even though they do a great job trying to band-aid the prequels, you know, trying to fix certain things up and introduce great characters. Like I, I love Ahsoka, uh, Ahsoka Tano. I love Darth Maul. I love what they did with him after what happened at uh, <laughs> the Phantom Menace. You know, but um, uh, Matt, it, let's let's share. I know we talked about setting ideas. Uh, do you want to go first about how uh, how you would make this work for players that want to play during the Clone Wars era? Well, I think the Clone Wars can be a great time to play Star Wars, and it really offers something different. Um, you know, despite, uh, you know, despite the title Star Wars, the Clone Wars actually has a lot more war than any other period. You know, there's literally a huge war going on across the galaxy. So that opens up right there. That's a lot of stories that opens up before, during, after around you can play soldiers you can play jedi um, it's a very rich setting we get all sorts of new worlds new races new force users we get all sorts of details on old worlds and old races that we've seen before as far as characters go you can play jedi you can play clones you can play non-clone naval officers there are bounty hunters play droids, uh, you can play other force users besides Jedi and Sith. The, the show has a lot of villains, a lot of extra villains, has a lot of villain only stories, you get stories with no good guys in them at all, episodes with no good guys, all villains. And uh, you know, that's something that you might want to try um, at your table, you know, before this, I would say that playing a villain campaign is not very Star Wars. Now, the Clone Wars has kind of made it canon, right? So um, I think it could you could tell a Star Wars story with just villains. The show covers just an immense range of tone. Right? It's epic. It's gritty. Some of it's really brutal. You know, some of the war uh, stuff can be really harsh. Um, some of the episodes are just downright ridiculous. <laughs> you know, there's a there's a there's a set of episodes about the droids going on special missions. <laughs> That's that is really silly. Um, so, your game could do all of that. Um, That's obviously something you want to talk talk about before you started, because you, know, you can ruin each other's fun if you didn't stick to the tone that you wanted when you started. But, uh, you know, I think there's a lot of potential to, uh, to ha be had during the Clone Wars. Um, you know, but there are definitely some concerns, uh, some challenges playing during the Clone War. One is the, uh, the, the wide varying power level. The Jedi are really, really powerful during this era. Um, just personally so much more than the, the clones for instance so if half of your party is clones and half of your party is jedi you might have a difficult time balancing out the encounters uh, so you might be better off if you are all jedi or force users or none of you are force users so that's a problem one of the things that bothered me about uh, the prequels and and the show um, is that Star Wars has always been a story of good versus evil, kind of an epic struggle. And during the Clone War, that gets really, really muddled. You know, the whole war is a lie. And there's nothing particularly evil about the Separatists. They're, they're the, the, uh, the opposition. But they don't want to enslave the galaxy or do anything horrible. They just want to be their own group of systems and go off and do their own thing. That makes it a little challenging. 
and then there's also the idea that everybody in the in the show, almost everybody, is being fooled, is being duped. The entire war um, is a incredibly complicated plot hatched by Palpatine. So the Jedi, even when they're being heroic and saving the day and saving Palpatine, as they do in several episodes, are really just kind of furthering the bad guy's plans. If I was playing, that would leave a, a bad taste in my mouth because as a player, yeah. I know that regardless of what I'm doing, uh, I'm being duped. I'm furthering the bad guy's plot. Um, you know, and that sort of thing can work. It'd be, it can be kind of interesting and poignant. Um, I'm just not sure it's really kind of Star Wars-y. And that's the sort of thing you would want to talk to your players about. The Clone Wars has a lot of disturbing issues in it. The very existence of the clones is really morally disturbing. I mean, that, that a whole civilization would breed these sentient beings, you know, with lot, with with inner lives and feelings just to fight their war and then kind of dispose of them afterwards. That, that is really troubling. And the fact that the Jedi go along with it, that's also really very troubling. Those are issues that you might want to, you know, you, you'd have to figure out how to deal with that. You, you know, um, you could ignore them. <laughs> it's pretty much the, the as the show does uh, and just concentrate on shooting things and flying around in starships and having laser battles, which is fine. That's a perfectly legitimate way to do it. The other problem that the show has, and this isn't the show's fault, it's a prequel, right? So it has all the problems that a prequel has, which is mainly that we know how it has to end. On one hand, that kind of drains a little bit of the tension. We know how it's going to end. And it also kind of, it kind of railroads everyone towards that ending. Players have to, characters in the show anyway, have to act in a certain way to make sure they end up at the starting point for the, um, the trilogy, you know, for the original trilogy. And so uh, that's a problem uh, dramatically for the show. It's also a problem for a game because the players, no matter how heroic they are and how well they succeed, uh, the Empire, the uh, Republic still has to fall, right? I mean, that's that's the ending. That's how it happens. Uh, you can't kill Palpatine. Uh, you know, you can't, you know, there's all sorts of things that have to be. So my solution to all of that would be an alternate timeline. Canon be damned, right? This is the story of the Clone Wars, and we don't know how it's going to end. The, the Republic is not fated to fall. It might, you know, it, it could end differently. Um, you could go even farther and kind of shake things up so your players don't know all the secrets. Maybe Palpatine isn't Darth Sidious. Someone else is Darth Sidious. Um, if I was running the game, I would, I would have a splinter group of Jedi who want to stop the war, who, who want to uh, remain true to their ideals and not get messed up in politics. On a personal level, um, I'll never forgive the prequels for what they did to the Jedi. <laughs> um, so yeah, I would, I would just strip away uh, the canon and let the game play out um, at, according to the actions of the heroic PCs. Because the other problem is the story doesn't leave a lot of room for heroic PCs. What are they going to do? <laughs> you know, the, the, the movies were jammed back to heroes and now the, the show has added even more. It's really crowded. That's what I would do. I would run an alternate timeline game. If, if I had players that they really want to play during this, um, I would, I would, well, first I want to say that if you want to do Western, Western has not put out any books about the prequels at all. Um, right. Uh, they, they closed the company shop. Folded. Yeah, they, yeah, the they company folded in 1998. 
is when they lost yeah. the Star Wars license and Phantom Menace came out in 99. So, yeah, but, and... <laughs> but go ahead. Yes. Well, you, you have some, some information about that. Some, some pirate, uh, West end. Oh, some, <laughs> well, some, it, some a... rogues and scoundrels put something together. <laughs> Well, well, fans of, of the West End books have put out official source books. So, um, um, so there is like, if you want to play um, the uh, race from the Togruta planet, I hope I'm saying that right, where Ahsoka Tano <laughs> originally comes from, uh, right. there's, they have uh, some uh, fan-made books, source books that you can use, uh, which we'll have the link in the description below. Um, I love that website, you know, uh, the yes. fact that they have these old books available. Yep. Um, yep. I don't know much of what uh, Wizard of Coast has done with with that, um, but I know we've talked about how Fantasy Flight Games that they have some source books available so that you can use for yes, uh, the Clone Fantasy Wars. Flight has a, a source book out called Rise of the Separatists, which is all about the beginning of the Clone Wars. So in there, you get um, rules um, for uh, for Jedi, Padawans, Clone Troopers, um, and you get all sorts of more races and locations for the Clone Wars. Honestly, if you're going to run a Clone Wars game, you should look at that book, even if you're not going to run it in finals uh, in Fantasy Flight. It is, is a is a good book, jammed full of information. Um, you know, uh, choosing a system for this game is going to be a little tricky. As much as I love West End, um, it was difficult to play a Jedi in West End. And as we talked about, that is a feature and not a bug, right? Because um, West End primarily deals with the classic era of Star Wars when there were only three Jedi and it was yeah. difficult to be a Jedi. During the clones, there are hundreds of Jedis and they're running around and they're using their powers left and right, a little inconsistently, I'm afraid, but so you would need a system that um, kind of reflects that. So the force is more dynamic and a little easier to use. So Fantasy Flight might be the way to go. Um, when I ran a Star Wars game full of Jedi, I actually used Big Eyes, Small Mouth, the, uh, the anime game, because it occurred to me that the cinematic style of Star Wars has a lot in common um, with a with a high action anime game and that actually worked really well so whatever system you choose it's got to be cinematic it's got to be flexible it's got to be fast so um, you know I'm, you can find some good systems out there for that um yeah so you know i, I think it's a it's, it could be an interesting challenge it could be a fun time yeah. to play so yeah so what do you think? Let us know in the comments below. Uh, I hope this helps you uh, construct a campaign for it. If you do play in the Clone Wars era, let us know how, how you how you did. How, how well <laughs> did you put that together? Um, so yes, thank you very much for watching. May the Force be with you.